The first phase of stage five adds the year counter, or odometer, and its drive gear assembly supplied with issues 31 and 32. Fix the odometer to the underside of the engraved plate, standing it on the two blocks and securing with four long PM3 screws. Check that the drive gear points towards the four screw holes in the plate. Now take the pre-assembled odometer gear train and fit the small mount against the small gear. Then add the spacer against the large gear and add the large mount. Align the holes in the mounts with those on the plate and fix with four screws for the large mounts and four screws for the small mounts. The second phase of stage five adds parts supplied with issues 33, 34 and 35. Loosely thread one grub screw into the side of one of the spindle collars. Fix the 93 tooth gear to this spindle collar using three KM 2.5 screws. Loosely thread one grub screw into the side of the second spindle collar. Fix the 78 tooth gear to this spindle collar using three KM 2.5 screws. Fit one of the eight mm steel bearings into the top of the center support shaft and another bearing in the bottom of the support shaft. Push the center shaft support down through the outer central hole in the engraved top plate so its top collar sits on top of the plate. Then push the center shaft with its pre-fitted drive gear up through the shaft support. The gear should now mesh with the gear at the end of the odometer gear train. Slide the 93 tooth gear assembly onto the center shaft and tighten the grub screw to secure it against the top of the shaft supports collar. Then slide the 78 tooth gear assembly onto the shaft and tighten the grub screw to secure it against the top of the 93 tooth gear. Add the brass spacer and finally the 20 tooth gear with its teeth uppermost and secure the 20 tooth gear with a grub screw. Recheck that the gears are meshed below the engraved top plate and gently rotate the upper gears clockwise, checking that the odometer year digits start to rotate. The third phase of stage five adds the animalistic month counter parts supplied with issues 36 and 37. Begin by fitting the CM3 crosshead screw into the base of the drive shaft. Fit one 8mm steel bearing into the top of the drive shaft support and another bearing into the bottom of the support. Then slide the shaft support onto the drive shaft, add the plastic washer and the brass spacer. Fit the 30 tooth gear to the top of the drive shaft and secure it with a grub screw. Secure the eclipse pointer to the top of the drive shaft with the tiny crosshead screw. Insert the animalistic month indicator into the hole in the engraved plate aligned with Myas, May. Screw the three legs into the underside of the animalistic month indicator dial. Finally, stand the legs of the indicator in the sockets on the engraved plate, ensuring the pointer is on top of the dial. The dial can be lifted and rotated to calibrate it when the model is complete. The fourth phase of stage five adds parts supplied with issues 38 and 39. Assemble the main drive shaft and gears. Begin by fixing the spindle collar to the 102 tooth gear using three KM 2.5 screws. Fix the 102 tooth gear assembly to the base of the drive shaft using a grub screw. Note that the collar should be uppermost and the gear at the extreme lower end of the shaft. Add the brass spacer. Insert one 8mm steel bearing into the top of the drive shaft support and another into the bottom of the support. Slide the drive shaft support down through the hole in the engraved plate, aligning with the engraved Augustus. Slide the drive shaft attached to the 102 tooth gear up through the drive shaft support and bearings. 
secured the assembly by fixing the 20-tooth gear to the top of the drive shaft using a grub screw. Note that the teeth of the 20-tooth gear should be uppermost and they must mesh with the 93-tooth gear on the centre shaft. Stage 5 is now complete.